Now, ladies and gentlemen, I saw it's it's uh it's been all over the news that uh, the director of uh, the Black Panther, Ryan Coogler, uh, was was detained. Uh, uh, you know, at a bank, at the Bank of America. People want to be upset with everybody. Bank of America, the teller, and and you know what I mean. And I'm gonna tell you, I know whose fault it is. Everybody, it's everybody's fault. Everybody did stuff that they was not supposed to they going to do. First of all, the Bank of America done got, got hemmed up behind some, some, some stuff, mistreat people a couple times. So I know they ain't trying to get in nothing. Somebody like to get fired behind this one. But they, they put it out on the news and say he got detained. He was trying to withdraw $12,000 out of his own bank account. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He went into the bank. And he handed the lady a note trying to be discreet. He had on a mask. He had on some sunshades. He had on a, a, a the little dingy uh, hoodie and a hat. And he slid her a note, said, hey, just trying to be discreet about it. Need 12 grand out in my bank account. He gave her his ID and, and all of that stuff. And, and she didn't she didn't even look at the ID. She just started calling the manager. And let me just backtrack when I say everybody was wrong. Brian was wrong, or no, Ryan was wrong, and the daggone bank teller was wrong. Everybody, both of them, both of them was wrong. We got to learn lessons. Um, I'm going to go for the bank teller first. Young lady, if somebody slides you a note say, hey, I'm trying to be discreet, I just need $12,000 out of my bank account, here's my ID. They played the audio and she said, I didn't check the ID. Why the hell would you not verify the information on the damn card? Why would you, somebody hand you a driver's license and say, I need the money. I, I, he had his debit card and his ID. Ain't that what you need to be in there? You, you got it. Okay. Had him hand you the debit card. I hand you ID. Why did you not verify? You going to call the police before you verify that? You going to call the police. You could have looked at the ID and say, look, could you just slide your mask down for a second, just real quick, to make sure that this is who you say you are on this app? That's all you had to do. It's called common sense. That's all you need to do. He handed you his card. He handed you his ID. All you had to do was verify, but you ain't even do that. You just went and called the doggone manager. Now, Ryan, let me say this. We live in America. It ain't a good idea for a black man to walk into the bank, or anybody for that matter, to walk into the bank with sunglasses and a mask on and a knit cap and <laughs> a hoodie and a note. Now, you might be all right with the sunshades, the mask, the knit cap, and the hoodie, but that note is what did it. You do, I don't know what where you been. Or I don't, you know, Brian, I, I am proud of you as a black man. Man, I would never walk into the bank and hand nobody a note. The last thing you want to do is hand the bank teller a note. One of the ways that they always rob banks is they walk up to the teller and hand the teller a note and say, hey, I'm trying to rob the place. Give me some money or I'm going to kill everybody in here. And she don't know. You just handed her a note. You just need to say your name. Take your shades off or something. Hey, I understand people may want to stop you and bother you, this, that, and whatever. Hey, that's what your team is for. Hey, look, you had other people with you. Tell him, look, he ain't trying to be bothered right now. You get $12,000 and say, look, could you please count that in the back? I don't want to draw any attention to myself. He wasn't trying to rob the place. I understand you wasn't trying to rob the place. You were trying not to get robbed your damn So I get that. But do not, under any circumstances, walk into a bank with a handwritten note. I don't care if you walk into the bank and you got a note that say, Jesus love you, and you slide it to the bank teller. Understand that that bank teller is going to be nervous as hell. Even if she, it could be a picture of Jesus. She's going to be sitting there like, um... I think him and Jesus trying to rob the bank. That's how you when the bank a note. Ask any bank teller. They don't want to see a note. They want to hear you say what it is that you got. You know, hey, you know what I mean. Let's just say, hey, look, I'm here to make a withdrawal. I need a withdrawal slip. Can I write it down? I don't want to tell you I'm a something, but do not walk into the bank with no damn note, cause that right there will draw the wrong kind of attention. Obviously. And then you combine that with the bank teller who so dang gone silly that she didn't even check and make sure that you was you. But I'm glad nothing happened. Nothing, nothing.
terminal happened. That's why I'm, I'm glad about that. <sighs> common sense ain't common, boy. 